an american author louis samberini says people tell me you are such an optimist am i an optimist an optimist says the glass is half full a pessimist says the glass is half empty a realist is practical call it what you want but just fill the glass i believe in filling the glass dear brothers and sisters in christ on the 17th sunday of ordinary time we reflect on the miracle of the feeding of the 5000 as narrated in the gospel of john this powerful story not only demonstrate jesus compassion and divine power but also offers profound lessons on faith and perception as we go more deep into this passage let us explore how we can be realist anchored in faith and action rather than pessimist or mere optimist in today's gospel we witness a large crowd following jesus because they saw the signs he performed by healing the sick as the crowd gathers jesus tests his disciples faith by asking philip where can we buy enough food for them to eat philip overwhelmed by the impossibility of the situation responds with a practical but pessimistic outlook highlighting the insufficiency of their resources pessimism focuses on the obstacles and the inadequacies leading to despair and inaction it is a mindset that overlooks the potential for divine intervention and the power of faith andrew on the other hand finding the boy with the loaves and fishes shows a spark of hope but still doubts its insufficiency mere optimism acknowledges the presence of resources but often lacks the conviction to believe in their potential when blessed by god optimism alone without a foundation of faith can be unrealistic and ungrounded leading to disappointment when faced with reality's harshness jesus personifying the ultimate realist takes what is available gives thanks and miraculously multiplies the loaves and fishes to feed everyone present with 12 baskets of leftovers remaining jesus demonstrates true realism grounded in faith he acknowledges the crowd's needs and the apparent insufficiency of resources but he also knows the power of god realism in faith is about recognizing the reality of our situation our limitations and our challenges but also firmly believing in god's ability to transcend those limitations as christians how shall we be a realist like jesus first of all we must face the realities of our lives honestly denying problems or challenges does not lead to solutions whether is personal struggles community issues or family problems we need to acknowledge them fully secondly like jesus we must trust that god can work wonders even with our limited resources when faced with overwhelming task or challenging problems we must remember that god's power is made perfect in our weaknesses thirdly realism in faith calls us to act instead of being paralyzed by pessimism or simply optimistic we should offer what we have however small for god's use just as the boys loaves and the fishes were multiplied our efforts when offered in faith can yield miraculous results dear friends as we reflect on this miracle let us strive to be realist in faith let us avoid the snares of pessimism that leads to hopelessness and inaction and the emptiness of mere optimism without substance instead let us face our realities with a deep trust in god's power and provision taking bold actions in faith may we be inspired by the miracle of the loaves and fishes 
to offer our lives and resources to God, confident that He can transform them beyond our great expectations. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.